Welcome to Straight Out of Savannah, Talking with Tammy, a podcast that showcases people you may not know who are choosing to use their gifts to inspire and move the planet. Thank you so much for joining us on Straight Out of Savannah, talking with Tammy. My guest, Sean White, is here, and he is going to tell you exactly who he is and what it is that he does. Sean, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, how's everyone doing? For those that may or may not know me, my name is Sean White. Essentially, what I am is someone that is described as a mindset and inspiration coach. Well, what does that mean? That means that I love to connect with obviously the one-on-one on the group thing, and I like to work with them to go ahead and help them unlock and discover their hidden true talents and gifts, and then ultimately helping them to pretty much discover their true potential, of who they truly are, and what they're calling them. And that is a joy and a privilege. That is awesome. So how did you get on this journey? I mean, you couldn't have been doing this all your life. Ah, well, this is only a 30 minute show. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and give you the short version. <laughs> the, short, the short version is this um, because I'm, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. And give you the short version. I remember when I was seven years old. And because of the fact, I used to always love to entertain my mother, always love to entertain my, my mom, my aunts, and my cousins. And so because I grew up in the 70s era, right, my, my favorite uh, performer was Michael Jackson, still is to this day. So any single time, any chance that I had, I always love to entertain. So the visions would really start coming around the age of seven. And I would see myself more so of being on stage. I didn't know as far as if I was going to be like a preacher, a pastor, a motivational speaker. I had no idea. But the visions were very consistent, such as like I can see myself as far as in a room on a, 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 a platform and people in the background that's just in pitch black and they would just be applauding me and like really giving me a rouse and stand up ovation right that was great in theory as time went on because of the fact of how the way i grew up it was a very um dysfunctional background to say the least i grew up in a very violent environment so those dreams quickly turned into just it was just all about survival really i come from an era where unfortunately like with the crack era uh, it was more so of survival like yes. literally if you can make it to 18 that was saying something if you can make it to 21 and not even be dead or locked up doing a long bed or even literally going out of your mind or being a crack scene that was really a miracle so to face those type of odds and yet still through all that, I still had visions. I knew I was supposed to have done something, right? Something to that event, but still it pretty much escaped me. To answer your question, how I came about this journey, you kind of fast forward a bit. I would say about eight years ago when I started my entrepreneur journey, like so many that have started, you know, in the early beginning, I struggled a lot, I struggled a ton. Did everything wrong? pretty much died of myself, then so that I had as far as on what it takes to become an entrepreneur online, been scammed um, twice, been homeless on this process. You want to talk about beat up and literally just had so many times where I just wanted to say, forget it, I quit, it's not even worth it, right? Uh, my, my family members and friends were, were right. Maybe, maybe I should have just stuck with a nine to five job, that sort of thing, right? It was really into my head. What really made me, or no, let me, let, me, Pat, let me go ahead and change that. What really turned it around for me is when I had a conversation with someone by the name of Ruth Ann Young. I'll never forget this conversation. In short, she said, Sean, if you are really looking to serve at the highest level and really help others and really serve into your gift, you have to be willing to step outside your comfort zone. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. 
you're not going to do it by just telling me and not acting on it. And she was very stern on that. And it was interesting because I felt as far as like God was speaking through her, that God used her in order to get to me because naturally I'm, I'm stubborn, right? I mean, look, look, how <laughs> way I, like, look how the way, you know, I came from and look, and look what I had to endure. But he used her to start the process. From there, I had mentors and coaching, had ups, had downs. What really reignited that is when I came across my coach, Ms. Monica McKenna. She was considered as a dream manifestation coach. And going through her teaching and going through her training, it really reignited that on calling. And God used her as well to really say like, okay, son, now it's definitely time. That was about close to about a year ago. And since then, I just, it's just been so super clear. And I've just been on a mission. I've been on a mission. That's mm -hmm. powerful because um, I think that's what I saw. Because I came across you in, I don't even remember what group, but it was in a group and you did a live. And I said, oh, wow. You know, it's, it's like I could feel. Let me pause this, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right, so when I came across you, I saw that passion. That was what I saw. And that was why I invited you to come on my podcast because I know I try to get people that I can feel the passion because I, I want other people to feel that, you know, and I want to allow people, my tagline is, I interview people who are changing the planet that you may or may not know. So I, I wanted you to come because I knew that you were changing the planet. I could see the change maker in you. And so I was like, okay, this, this young man, and I didn't even know a whole lot about you because I don't go and do a lot of research on people. I kind of go and make sure, you know, that they don't have a bunch of crazy stuff on it. <laughs> but I don't go deep because I really want you to be able to share, you know, what you need. And I like the fact that this is an authentic conversation because I haven't gone and dug into your past and I didn't put a private investigator on you or nothing. So I don't know any of that. But what I saw was the, the authenticity and the genuineness and the power that you exhibited when you did your speech. And I think that thing, it was like a 10 minute thing, I think, it wasn't very long at all. But just in that short time, I could see your passion. So when you look at people that you would like to inspire, I mean, so how does, how does that work for you? Break it down and let us know um, what's your process for that? The people that I like to inspire, encourage, and motivate. Tammy, I love for the individuals that's considered as underdogs. From someone that has been considered as a black sheep, someone in which that quite frankly, and for all those, you know, that, that spiritual or re religious, I apologize in advance, but I, I have to be honest here. I know what it's like as far as to where to be rejected by, by the church and be re rejected by the streets, if that makes sense. In yeah, other words, yes. like I, I didn't fit into the streets, but yet because of how I was, every single time I could step in the churches, they would look at me a certain kind of way. So not only was I facing an identity crisis through in the church, not only was I facing an identity crisis as far as in the streets, but also in my own family as well, because of the fact I was like, you know, ping pong, so to speak, they would, they would look at me as being a black sheep. So I know how it's like as far as to be misunderstood. I know how it's like to feel like the underdog. I know what it's like where people say that you can't do something and tell you a thousand one reasons on why you're not going to be anything. You're going to be like your father. You're going to be like your uncle. You're going to be like this person, that person. And for people not seeing of who you truly are and you feel like as far as like, no one hears me, no one gets me, right? I know that because I experienced that thing for years and it's not fun by yourself, no. right? I'm for, I'm for the people that, that feel like that they have a voice, but no one hears them. I'm yes. for the individuals that have skills, they have unique gifts and talents, 
in this world, they know it, but at the same time, they don't have the confidence because they've been beat up so much by life, yes. by people, by situations, by circumstances. I'm for the individuals that have tried, been beat up a thousand times, that have been through homeless, that have been through stuff, right? I'm even for the individuals that may not even had all that, but still they know it's something that's there within them. But for whatever reason, they they haven't found the right person because maybe they may have trusted you, right? I'm for these individuals because what God has done for me, and quite frankly, I'm a living testimony. Honestly, I'm not supposed to be here, Tammy. I'm really not supposed to be here. But Tell I'm us about it. Okay. So you're, so you're, so you're speaking with, with, with someone that's been through so many near-death experiences. So I can't even count from panic attacks, heart, heart attacks, shootouts, from being... Whew, uh, literally been out of my mind a few times, okay? Been deserted, been left for dead, been homeless twice, okay? Then been scammed, then been robbed, okay? Almost killed again, number of different times. Again, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be strung out or supposed to be doing 25 to life, all the stuff in which I did in the past. But because of his grace and mercy, he seen something within me, something in which that he predestined for me from the time I was seven years old, remember from when I tell you when I was seven, when I first started having those visions? Yes. He knew at that point that, you know what? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. And, and I rem have you ever known anyone or maybe yourself where there's like a stretch in your life, it may be a year, a couple years, five years, 10 years, maybe your childhood or early adult life. And you say to yourself, why is it that so much stuff is happening to me? It seems like every time I try to go to the left, I'm going to the right. When I feel like that far, I'm taking one step forward, I'm taking 10 steps back. I'm catching all this hell, and I can't understand for the life of me why. And you're trying to do the right thing. You're not trying to hurt nobody. You're not trying to, you know, steal from anyone. You're trying to do the right thing. But yeah, it seems like Murphy's Law is coming down my pathway. Basically, guys, if you don't understand what Murphy's Law is, anything that can go wrong will go wrong, right? Yes, yes. So I understand all that. I understand all that totally and completely. And if you've been like that, that's just letting you know, like, it took me a long time to understand that the reason why I was going through all that is because I was being pruned and I was being tested for what was going to transpire as of right now. Now, obviously, you can't see that when you're in the midst. Obviously not. Nope. But my wish and prayer is for everyone just to stick in there long enough to see and to get that revelation of what the true purpose and calling is. And here's the reason why I say that, Tammy. Because when you do, your eyes will open up. Yes. Like for me, you will come to understand that, you know what? Everything that you've been through, every single thing that you've been through is for a purpose. And that purpose is to bring value to someone. So that's the reason why, Tammy, that when I do my Facebook Live, when I do my keynote presentation, when I'm on a virtual summit, when I speak, I come for it with such passion, such conviction, because I remember how that was like. Yes. I know what it was like. So I have to be authentic. I have to be real. And also, God gives me the words to speak. I don't take no credit for none of this, because again, I was supposed to have been dead a long time ago. So because, he, because he's revealed to me what my true calling is and what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm just going out here and I'm just sharing my story. And I'm just telling people as far as the experiences on what I went through. And because of the fact that I decided to trust in him and put in work, because as an entrepreneur, you got to put in work. Okay. Sure you're, and prayer. You're, and prayer <laughs> you're going to go through stuff. But if you can just say, you know what? 
despite everything what you're going through, is bigger than me. And if you can reach this one person with your story, with with your message of your trials and tribulations and how you overcame it, you okay. Let, let me see if I can frame this another way. You do, do you know? Do you know that by you telling your story of what you overcame, do you know that you can save someone's life? Yes. That's how I knew how powerful this was when I did a Facebook live and I can't remember what it was. I think it was sometime last year. I can't remember, right? And this individual messaged me and they told me as far as like, you know what, Sean? I don't heard a lot of Facebook lives and I was going through X, Y, and Z. This person was literally about to kill themselves. Mm. But it was something about my Facebook live that they resonated with. They didn't know which from a can of paint. A can of paint. But when they messaged and told me that, and they said, thank you. Thank you, man. You truly saved my life. You really, really did. And because of you, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and check myself in and get right. Oh, that's awesome. When that happened, Tammy, two stories. Prom- promise to God, if I'm lying, I can drop that right now in this podcast. When that happened. No, we're not doing that today. Biggest <laughs> beast, <laughs> right? But when that happened, Tammy, mm-hmm. no lie, I got off of that right here in my living room. I, I got down my hands and knees and I just cried and I said, thank you. I understand, Lord. Now, I truly, truly, truly understand. Yes. And you want to know the response on which I got? Yes. He, he, he said, son, that's just a taste of what I have for you. Oh, wow. Now, will you go ahead and move the way that I want you to move? It's like, yes, Lord. There it is. Because at that moment, you knew that what you were doing that, mattered. That was ultimate confirmation. Yes. That was ultimate confirmation. Because again, I'm naturally stubborn. But that was ultimate confirmation. Mm. That is so powerful. That is so I powerful. have a saying, Tammy, when I end my Facebook live. If what I say to on this live or presentation, right, either motivated, transform, or inspire at least one person, at least one person, then may God be the glory and I take no credit for absolutely none of it. It's very important to me that whether I'm speaking to a thousand people or maybe I'm speaking to 10 people, that I come with the same level of energy and passion. Yes. Why? Because by the end of the day, I understand we're entrepreneurs and we're in for profit. I totally get that, right? But by the end of the day, it's about changing people's lives. Yes. One person at a time. And even if one person that watches this podcast and get value, then guess what? It was all worth it. Yes. It was all worth it. That's why I do this. Because it's bigger than me, it's bigger than you. And we're about changing lives. And we have to be serious on that. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I can mm-hmm. ooh, I can feel that because For real. once you get, just like you said, that one person, and I think about that because my grandmother was a pastor, preacher, teacher, evangelist type. And so she was um, in a church that did not allow women to preach. They could do everything else, you know, they could serve and they could, you know, they used to, this was like the old fashioned church where they used to wash the feet. Oh yeah. I remember, I remember those days. You remember yeah, those? I, was a kid. I, remember, I was a kid when I was, yeah. Yep. So they could do all that, you know, but they couldn't, they wouldn't let them preach. And so she said, God called her to preach. And so she started her own ministry. And so I share that because that's what I come from. That's my legacy. You know, just because somebody tells you that you can't do something or you're supposed to be some kind of way or whatever, no, none of that stuff matter. You listen to God. And they told her that God didn't tell her that because God said that women couldn't preach. That's what mm. they told her. Mm. You know, and, and I, I, I think about that 
and when you were talking about how you should have been dead, you know, you should have been whatever, according to, you know, where you came from and all that stuff. I think about that because it's like, she did not allow anybody to tell her that she wasn't supposed to bring the word of God to the people. And she did. She started her own church. No money, you know, none of that stuff. God did that thing. And so Mm -hmm. when I hear you speak, it's like, I can see that in you. It's like, God is doing this for you, you know? And, and I say, God, you can say source universe, whatever you want, but you know, I say, God is doing this for you and allowing you to inspire the nation and, and the world really. So where are you going from here? <clears throat> what it, where does well, your vision take you? Let me explain to you my vision and the things in which I'm doing. My vision is very clear, Tammy. To become a $200 million earner, to travel all around the world, motivating, encouraging, and inspiring the masses. Me and my team now only telling people that it's possible and helping them overcome any self-limited beliefs or doubt. But also in addition is that we're going to be giving back to nonprofit organizations and charities. So it doesn't matter whether we're in China, Russia, Japan, Australia, people will know that we are there. Basically, what that means is like, because that vision is so big, currently right now at the moment, I'm a part of an entertainment firm called Mobile Entertainment. And what, that's pretty awesome. I just started with that, but that's a... Um, and as him a firm that's going to be helping those that's either authors, speakers, coaches, podcasters. And if you're looking as far as to get your own TV show or your own segment, they do have specials in which for like an entire year, you can get your own TV show and TV series. That's pretty phenomenal. They also have a lot of great services as well. In addition, I'm going to be doing some virtual summit, summit still. I'm in the process as of right now, studying to become a hypnotherapist. So that's something with that I just love. Um, I'm just fascinated as far as with the human brain and with the subconscious. I believe by me adding that on can be, I can be a a better service to people. Yes. I'm still, I also have a podcast as well, which is called Transformation Greatness. It's on Anchor. So I do those as well. I do episodes. And just really more so of anywhere where I can have an opportunity as far as just to share my story and turn my message to a message. That's powerful. That's what I want. That is powerful. Because because a lot of times people they know that they have something that they're supposed to do, but that level of clarity is is just awesome. Because a lot of times you say, Oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. You know, some women jump out here and I'm going to do this. And then you jump out there and you start doing this and it's not working for you. And so then you say, okay, well, let me, maybe I, maybe that's not for me. You know, maybe I'm going to stop. You know, what advice do you have for those people? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad, I'm glad you asked me that. One of the things I will tell people is that when you become an entrepreneur, you're going to go through many different experiences, right? It's just like in, in, in life. You've got to crawl before you walk, right? Entrepreneur is the same exact way. They say the average entrepreneur will be introduced or be a part of seven or eight different businesses or concepts before they really start finding their market. I would say if I can really just, for everything which I know now, Tammy, if I can go back to the Sean eight years ago, that was just starting out this online venture, give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. Yes. Definitely recommend for you to explore, um, venture out, learn skills, get involved in different companies, different concepts, gain that experience, gain that experience. Definitely start, uh, start the process of growing, connect with the right individuals. Definitely definitely, definitely get yourself mentorship and coaching as soon as possible. <laughs> Talk about that. Yes. The power of mentorship and coaching is so important. I wish I had that in the very beginning. I probably would have saved myself a lot of grief, but <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'm, oh, Lord have mercy. 
But a mentor or coach is so vital. It's so vital because a mentor or coach is pretty much going to be like your cheerleader. It's going to be someone that's going to be able to identify your blind spots because we all have them, right? So if you don't have a mentor or coach, you can be doing something over and over and over again. And it could be the wrong way, but because of that subconsciously, it has become a routine and a habit. So you don't know what you don't know. Right. But a mentor, a coach, someone has been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, overcame that, and is doing it at a, at a, at a level that you want to be at, they can identify that and they can walk you through and give you sound, sound counsel. So mentorship and coaching is very, very important. And Nowadays, it seems like everybody's a mentor and everyone is a coach, right? Yes. I, w- I would recommend, honestly, if you're going to connect with a mentor or a coach, someone that's going to be authentic, someone that I would think that you would like, right? And yes. not, not necessarily picking a mentor or a coach just because they got the houses and the cars and the mega fat bank account, right? Because yeah, that's nice. They got all the material things, but guess what? They can be an absolute jerk. Or as far as when you really need them, um, they're, not they're not there for you. Or any, every single time you meet up with them, they're always trying to sell you a high-end product, right? I've been through that experience too. A great mentor or coach is someone that's going to work with you together, right? Mm-hmm. And more so challenging, which I definitely love, hold you accountable, but also too, they're, they're going to guide you, right? Yes. They're not going to so much try to spoon feed you or baby you, but based upon of what you tell them, they're going to hold you accountable to that, but they're also going to help you as well. They're not going to leave you high and dry, right? They, 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 they're going to be like your support system, your rock, your foundation. And again, they're, they're, they're going to love the process and the journey of you building up into that person that you're looking to become or or enjoying the journey or the process of you gaining those results and what that you first wanted. And, and for me, I, I would say humility is a big one. Yes. Humility. Being, being humble, being very down to earth. That's something those are great, great qualities great quality that's but, awesome but also too if they have to you know give it to you raw sometimes hey sometimes you know tammy sometimes we we gotta say certain things and no matter how much you talk twice or dice or certain things you just gotta tell you how it is gotta tell you how it is and it definitely you don't understand that. yeah i think it's like raising kids you know, there yeah. were times when I could talk to my kids and I could say, you know, don't do that. That's not a good idea. Or, you know, like when they were little, don't touch the stove. It's hot. Don't touch the fire. And the fireplace is hot, you know. And then there were other times when I had to snatch them up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, I had to snatch them up and, you know, and now they're grown. They appreciate that. Exactly. You know, but yeah, you and, and that's, I believe in the same, it's the same thing in, the work that you and I do, you know, and I'm, I'm on no sugar coating type of person. So if that's not something that you can resonate with, then I'm not a person, I'm not your healer. Exactly. <laughs> Cause I'm exactly. not, gonna, I'm not going, you know, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to cover it. I'm not going to baby it. I'm going to tell you, Hey, that's not right. Or you know right. what you think that's red, but it's actually purple. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that yep. is awesome. That is awesome. So um, if you had one last thing to share with somebody that maybe perhaps was in your position, maybe they, you know, had a tough upbringing and they weren't expected to make it in life, what would you say? What would I say? Knowing that you are still alive for a reason for a person. Everything that you went through, good, bad, different, the ugly, the super ugly, was all for a purpose. The, I, I think the most challenging thing for most people is sticking around long enough to see 
things start turning around. So what do you understand the true purpose on why they're here? I think too many people give up and quit at the one yard line, so to speak, Tammy. Yes, yes. But, but when you stick around long enough and you really connect with, with your higher power, whether it be universe, source, tree, dog, cat, whatever, and you really get intentional about that, you really, you know, seriously, you really get intentional about that, and you ask that question, why am I here? What is my purpose? What is my calling? What makes me unique and makes me stand out? And when you get intentional about that, you'll find the answer. And when you find the answer, you will gain the passion. And once you get the revelation to understand that, there's nothing holding you back. Mm, that is so powerful. So share Definitely. with the people where they can find you. If they are looking uh, for a mindset inspiration coach, yes, ma'am. where they can find you. Well, guess what? I'm on Facebook. I hang out on Facebook. I love Facebook. Facebook is my home. But just in case that Facebook don't love me no more, you can hang, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube. I have a podcast on Anchor, which is called Transformation Greatness. I'm all around. I'm all around social media. But mostly, I love to hang out on Facebook. Yes. All right. That is a wrap. This has been such an amazing, amazing conversation. As always, it is super authentic and intuitive because that is what we do here on Straight Out of Savannah, talking with Tammy. And so my guest, Sean White, has been here and he has shared so many nuggets and so many pearls and so many gems. So make sure that when you are ready to connect, you connect with him on Facebook, Instagram, and all of his details will be in the description of the video and the audio. So you'll be able to find how to reach him. So when you are ready, you can seek him out and connect with him. He is such an amazing young man, so easy to talk to and an inspiration. And I have truly enjoyed this interview. So again, thank you so much for watching or listening to Straight Out of Savannah, talking with Tammy with my guest, Sean White. He is such a powerful, powerful presence. And you will definitely, definitely, when you are ready to work with somebody that can motivate you to your greatness, he is definitely someone to talk to. So thank you so much for joining us. Bye now. Thank you. I know you've been blown away with the amazing Valley here today. Now go out and inspire the planet. And be sure to send us a message when you're ready to come talk about it on Straight Out of Savannah, Talking with Tammy.